In this video I'm just going to show you how you can use the width stamp tool with the dashes feature. Now it's just one of the features here and the width stamp tool is available part of Witscribe 2 from Astute Graphics. It's a plugin for Illustrator, CC, CS6 etc. First thing to do, I'm just going to go for make with preset. Now I'm using an image here, you could just use any other part as well. Don't have to use an image but it just looks nicer with an image I think. Make with preset and there's the preset. First I think half grid, but I'm just going to go for circular spiral, or I could go for zigzag, but I'll just go for circular spiral, so you can see a spiral design. Now, use dashes, so you can just click that. Now, at first, it doesn't seem to do anything. In fact, you think, well, what use is that? Threshold, that's the key thing. Actually set the threshold, so if, so if you set the threshold to 60, you can actually see now where it's image it's a bit lighter, you can actually see it just breaking up. So you've actually got this sort of like gaps. They're just standard paths. So I'm just going to 90. You can actually set the threshold in greater. You actually get to the point where you actually end up just with a very abstract design, completely losing. And of course, you can still modify losing the cat altogether. So you can still modify this. So you can actually bring back some of that. You can still see the cat there. It's still there. You can make them closer. So all the just crunch it up in more virtually. And then you can actually just make that make it even more gaps between it. Again, you can also modify that to 100%. So it's a really completely abstract design now. So I think it works better, obviously, at a certain point, so about 50%. You can see more of the lines. And you can, of course, hold the Shift key down, click there just to bring it back to, and see more of the cat. So it's just great little feature, dashes. Now, it would be nice, obviously, if there was uh, more options to modify these dashes, but uh, anyway. This can't do that. So you can modify the spacing. So obviously you can make it dashes very well. So you can just see some nice little dashes there. Again, you can modify that to 70%. There you go. Well, it's still passed. Like, so once you've actually done that, you can actually say expand. So the whole image can be expanded. It does take a few seconds to process that. And there you have it. You've got some paths that you can manipulate. I'm just going to ungroup that, ungroup, ungroup, there's a few ungroupings, and then you can in modify the individual elements there. And of course, again, you can still do the usual with width profiles. You don't have to go with that. You can actually just turn around and say, well, actually, I want to modify the width profile for all of those, which could also create some interesting and unusual sort of very sharp angler poor cat features.